The next character I want to make is my Kinesis. One of my favorite classes. Not easy to play, but aesthetically really great. At least characters can straight up good damage. Not the easiest to play. Not everyone's cup of tea, but I like it. In first draw, we have Kinetic Crash. This is your main mom skill. The next skill is Psychic Force. You don't really use this mobbing. It does push back enemies, but you don't use it. If you're bossing, it does dot damage. The next skill we have is Metal Press. This is a bossing skill. It's an ID debuff also, but it is like your burst. Mental Shield is like Magic Art, but it drains your PP. Huh? What did he say? Hey! Brother, uh. what's that? What's that, brother? Booster. And we have Kinetic Step. This gives Kinesis a flash drop. It's very interesting how it works. I think it's better if I just show you. This gets higher and further the more you level this up, as well as other skills. In second job, we have Pile Driver. This is your next mobby skill. This is also a super stance. Psychic Blast is a better version of Psychic Force. Next up is Deep Impacts. This is a TP skill, but not in the conventional way. Also, if you hit a boss with the skill, it moves boss like DR, except for like Akechi, because you know, GMS bosses. Next up is Psychic Drain. Basically, always some of this, just recovers your PP. Also, it, just, it doesn't say it, but it's a super stance. And there's a passive that, get, that gives you damage and attack speed. And this passive gives you a better flash jump. And if you're lucky on crit rate, I'll probably get this one. Because like most mages, we lack crit rate. In third job, we have Psychic Grab. Psychic Grab is your next mobby skill. Psychic Assault is a better version of Psychic Blast. Mind Tremor is another summon you put down. It slows down the enemies and also gives an IED debuff. Kinetic Combo is like Marks, but it's passive. Next up is Gaunt. This is kind of like Hoyong's Fly or Nimbus skill. And lastly, we have Trainwreck. Which I don't really like using. The PP usage is way too high and doesn't even last too long.
In fourth job, we have Psychic Clutch, which is a better version of Psychic Crab. Our next skill is Psychic Shot. You use this skill, you, you hold down up and press Psychic Clutch, and it sets out a huge attack. Also, it's an IED debuff. Our next skill is BPM. This is mostly a bossing skill, but it does like a cone attack. It drains your PP as you're attacking. My quick is upgrade version of my drummer. Psychic Charger recovers half of your max PP. And I got my second IED fam. Since I have two IED fams, I need two slots. To get my second slot unlocked, I need one batch and I go for the easiest one. Pro tip, this is a free legion page. I put in my top strongest characters in my legion board. I don't really care what stats it goes into because I'm just if king overnight or the next time I come on. I need to get as many coins as I can, so yeah. Pro tip. I want to take advantage of the DMT, so I do all my weekly bosses. Also, some of these clips may be really laggy because I was wondering in the previous episode of bossing. It wasn't a hat day, but I really wanted to cool down.
And the very last link skill I need is the Mage Link. The material of Thief Link has three Mage Explorers, Bishop, Ice Lightning, and Fire Poison. So the Mage Link, when you talk to boss, you get damage and ID stacks. Up to three. So this, this is going to replace Ho Young. I get ID and damage compared to just ID with the Ho Young. In first job, you have Energy Bolt, which is your main mobbing for now. Teleport, Magic Arc, and Mana Wave is like a blink. You can up drop and hold down your jump, then you'll slowly float and fall down. And your MP boost actually gives you attack speed. For all three mages, I'm making, making a bishop, and then I'm jump touching two of them. In second job, we have Holy Arrow. This is your main mama skill for now. Heal is for healing, but we need poison into this to get invincible. And then we need invincible for bless later on. Passive booster. Plus, this gives you an attack buff. Something to mention is that Bishop is a holy user. So it does light damage to dark monsters and it does even more damage. In third job, we have Shining Ray, which is your next Mobby skill. Next skill is a toggle. It's Teleport Mastery. So you do damage as you're TPing. And our last toggle is TP Boost, which lets you TP further and higher. I like to put a Magic Guard in both TP skills on a macro. So when I log in, I press the macro, then I get all three. Arcane Overdrive gives you a bunch of crit rate and some crit damage. And Holy Focus gives us even more crit rate and even some mastery. And this is the main reason why I want to do Bishop. So Holy Symbol gives you a bunch of EXP. You do need to read the spell first. But I max this out ASAP, followed by Shining Ray. If you need crit rate, you can go for Arcane Overdrive and Holy Focus. In fourth job, we have Angel Ray. This is a bossing skill. This heals you and your teammates as you're attacking. Genesis is a FMA. Big Bane is your Marvel skill moving forward. Bahama is your summon. Advanced Blessing is a better version of your Bless. 